Hi guys, it's Jazzy Rose and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on your eyebrows. It's a highly requested video and if you guys are interested, please continue watching. So unfortunately, if you guys notice that my eyebrows are like extremely thin now, um, if you have seen my other videos and my videos on Instagram, I have nice, thick, full eyebrows. Well, long story short, I just want to you know, the place that I usually go to just to get them cleaned up because I usually do my own eyebrows. Well, I had a new girl do it, which I shouldn't have done. And she told me they were a little bit uneven. If she could fix them, I said, sure. And she made them completely thin. I was so aggravated and so upset when I left there. I seriously called them and now they're going to be doing my eyebrows for free, which the with the original girl that I usually use the next time I need them cleaned up. That's if I decide to go back, but that's a different story. But anyways, um, you know, once all of that happened, I, you know, was like, well, what am I going to do? I'm, to me, I don't really think that I'm all that great at doing my eyebrows, but I have a lot of people asking me, oh, how do you do them? Blah, 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 blah. It's really difficult to explain, and I think that people are really nervous about doing it. I know I was at first, too, so, you know, it's normal. So I was in the Anastasia Beverly Hills section, and I saw these stencils that Anastasia Beverly Hills makes. And it's pretty cool. They come with five different ones that you can look at. It's just different arches. This one is a medium arch. And they also have a slim high arch. Is that what it says? Yeah. And then this is obviously my favorite one because I, as you can see, I use this one. This is the high arch. And then I have the, this is what, petite arch. And they also have a full arch, which I think is pretty cool. Now, with these, you're, you know, it's, it's, it's easy. And I think that, you know, it's one of the most convenient things ever because this is what mostly makes me late for work in the morning is when I'm doing my eyebrows. So, now there's just like a couple of basic things you need to know before you match up what kind of arch you want to use. And... I'm going to go with the high arch. Try to go to what you see is similar with your eyebrows. And what I got was the high arch. Now, you need to know that when you're doing your eyebrows, that your eyebrows should start right here. And this is going to help you. Your arch should be like somewhere along like where your temple is. And then your eyebrow should end right where your eye ends right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this part as my guideline. Like this is how I'm going to know exactly because there's like your temple. I'm going to line that there. And also too if it's easier for you, you can also line it up here right by your the bone of your nose. Ah, oh, shit. So anyways, so... I'm going to be using today, I'm going to use my dip brow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to be using this in chocolate. I'm also going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. And then I'm going to be using my Sephora brow brush, which this really needs to be cleaned. But um, this brush is like one of these. Actually, both of these are. This is like my two main brushes that I use. And then I'm going to be using two different kinds of concealers as well. I'm going to use um, a concealer for the top of my eyebrow. This is going to be like more of a natural color, as um, like a color that you would use for your foundation. And then I'm going to just go in with my e.l.f. concealer. And this is something that you would use for highlighting. And this is going to clean up the bottom of your brow. So... So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your brow brush and I put very little on like you really don't need a lot of this stuff and I take the cap and I kind of like brush it off a little bit just so there's not so much product and you're not just globbing this on 
and I'm gonna take my stencil I'm going to do this part first and just dot it right there. Same thing here. So you know where your arch is going to end. And then now focus on the bottom. Not moving it so much. Like I ha literally have like no hair here. So I'm just kind of going to like the I'm just kind of gonna like dot it so it's all filled and then like kind of like just move down and just uh, get in there and you know that that's where your eyebrow is gonna end so now just going back into your dip brow or whatever you decide to use and now you're just gonna match everything up don't worry about being so slappy you don't need to be perfect because we're going to clean everything up. And just like connect the dots now. So right now we're just kind of like outlining everything of what we want to do. And now you're going to fill it in and go in the direction of your hair. And give it a little brush. And if you have to go back in, because you missed a couple of spots or some parts are darker than others, and you just have to go back in, go for it. That looks a little crazy, I know, but it's all right. So now you're going to go in with your more natural color concealer and lightly just I always say, you know, you only need a little and I always put, end up putting like a shitload on, but whatever. Um, just clean it up. I also find that when you use the brush like this on the edge you like get the tip of it that makes it real sharp and it cleans it up real nice and also helps blend out this to get that nice thin line too you can give it a finger blend if you like and now go in with your lighter concealer and I just put two little dots because sometimes like I said I always say you know you only need a little and I end up putting on a shitload of it I was going to show you guys how I did my other eyebrow, but obviously it's the same way that I did the other eyebrow with you, and I don't want to bore you guys, but I am going to show you some cool tips just to make sure that everything is even for both of your eyebrows. 
Now, for a trick to make sure that like really everything's even, I'm going to show you ways that you could look at your eyebrows. But before I get into that, actually, um, I do want to say that your eyebrows are kind of like a wing. Sometimes you just need to walk away from it. It's not going to be perfectly even. You just got to step away. You can get crazy with it. So how I make sure that my eyebrows are even is I look down. And you want to make sure that your arches are in the same place. And that one's not too pointier than the other. And I mean with the stencil it's so much easier to find out that like to make your arch perfectly even. So that's what's really good about these stencils. And then you know you're going to look up like this. And you want to make sure that the shape, oh shit, that the shape is the same. And it's not. Is it? Oop. That's good enough. Like I said, you, you, you'll really end up going crazy trying to make this as even as possible. You know? So... But don't drive yourself crazy. So guys, if you were to ask me to buy these stencils, I would highly recommend them. They are good. I would not recommend you to try to like really sit there and hold a stencil on and like draw it. Um, I don't know how well that would work out for you because they do move. If you're clumsy like me, you'll be dropping them. But if you just do like I did and dot them and then connect the dots and create your own shape, it will help and after a while just keep on getting better and better. But these are really good for um, people that aren't so great at doing their eyebrows like I am. So if you guys liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.